You have butt wiping questions and I wipe asses for a living. Stay tuned to learn if you need to wipe your bottom before using a bidet. Hi, my name is Maria Lindbergh and I'm an occupational therapist. I've helped so many people clean up their bottoms easier in nursing homes, the hospital, and the community. I'm doing this video in collaboration with BidetKing.com, the online leader in bidet seats, to answer questions about wiping and bidets. All right, let's take a look at the first question. Do you need to wipe first before using a bidet? The answer is, Absolutely not. The purpose of the bidet seat is to thoroughly clean your bottom with water. So you don't need to do any pre-wiping to clean before it does its job. Let's dive into how bidet seats work. Bidet seats like the Alpha UX Pearl are installed on your toilet seat at home. After you poop, use the remote control to aim the water spray and choose the water temperature. Keep the water on for about a minute long to make sure your butt is totally clean. Of course, you're welcome to run the water as long as you need it. If you feel like your code brown is especially messy, you have the option to crank up the water pressure to fully blast your butt. Although, I find that you don't need a water enema to clean your butt completely. Lower water pressure is effective too. The Alpha UX Pearl also has posterior wash and feminine wash options. You can use bidet seats for more than just bowel movements. Those with female anatomy can use bidets after urinating and that time of the month. It'd be a total waste to use any toilet paper before using the bidet seat. Just let it clean your butt for you. All right, let's see what the next question is. Does poop splash everywhere? Not when you're using the bidet. The water stream is focused and sprays up and forward at an angle. Once it hits your bottom, everything falls down into the water, not all over your bowl. Okay, here's the next question. Do I still need to wipe after using a bidet? Well, that really depends on the type of bidet that you have. So first, let me tell you, it's incredibly important for you to dry your bottom after using a bidet. If you don't dry your derriere, all the moisture will get trapped in your skin folds inside of your underwear. This can lead to some nasty skin infections and potentially even worse medical conditions. If you have a bidet seat with no air drying function, you will need to wipe your bottom with toilet paper or a booty-only towel. If you do have a bidet seat with an air drying function, don't wipe at all. Just use the air dryer. Which leads me to my last question. How do I dry myself after using a bidet? If you choose to wipe with toilet paper, gently dab or pat dry your bottom to keep your delicate skin irritation free. Overall, you're going to reduce your toilet paper usage by 80%. The other option is to use the bidet's air dryer. Let me show you how easy it is. After you clean your butt with water, use the remote to turn on the air to dry your bottom. Sit back and relax for two minutes while the bidet does its magic. Then turn it off when you feel fully dry. Pull up those pants and get ready to rock on with your bad self. Let's do a quick recap. You don't need to wipe your bottom before using a bidet. Bidets don't splash poop everywhere. You do need to dry your bottom after using one. And if your bidet has an air dryer, just use that function. Don't wipe at all. If you have any questions, please head over to bidetking.com or toilettalk.me. Remember, I've got your backside. <laughs>